It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was down at my local home bargain store, bargain basement, place where you can find some weird and wonderful stuff. I come across some chili candy. Picked up a few bags for me and the kids. The kids got their own YouTube channels. They mess about doing all sorts of different challenges and, and drinking cans of pop and eating chocolate and that sort of thing on their channels. Uh, and I could visibly see them struggling with the, the spice on this candy. Um, so they were, when they finished, they were like, Dad, Dad, you've got to review this candy. So I'm doing this for a bit of fun. Um, we all like a bit of fun in life. This should be a little bit of fun. Um, so how it works, it says dear yourself on the top and there's a Mexican there. Looks like he's really struggling with these sweets. And there's a, a level bar of chilli spiciness with of course the deep red being the hottest, the green being the mildest. So without further ado, let's have some fun. Let's start off with a green. We'll put, put them out all on the table here. I like my chilli stuff anyway, so this is the... Right, so it looks like the deepest... First of all, let's grab a handful of these, show you what they look like. Just some regular beans. Hopefully regular beans. So the deepest green is going to be number one, level one. Let's try it. Oh, really sweet. Apple. Oh. That's strangely really nice. Just your typical apple, green apple sweets. When I was a kid, it's a bit like the apple and rhubarb had boiled balls used to be able to buy. But with a little bit of spice on the back end, I can see why the kids were struggling. I really can. Uh, all right, sweet spice. Next one. The lighter green one. Is that right? Yeah, the lighter green one. Here we go. Oh, blimey. Same thing. Sweet, green apple. Nice kind of chewy consistency to them. Yeah, they're all right. And the spice, let's talk about the spice. That's why you're really here, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually a little bit of a level up. On, on the last one, it's, it's like, I, again, I can see why they struggle with it. I mean, for a grown adult, so far, you must have a really mild palate to really struggle with them. But there's definitely a burn. Definitely a burn on the back end. Next up, level three. The yellow bean. Lemon. It's a bit like drinking a craft beer. All these apples and lemons. Probably get a grapefruit one next. <laughs> Um, I tell you, once, <laughs> I'll let you into a little secret, once my, my youngest daughter finished these, she was like, you could see her face was pale and she was drinking a glass of milk, she had gl milk all around the mouth and she said, Dad, I got a headache after that. I can see for, the, for a nine-year-old kid, if for some reason your, your palate's always 
a little bit more well you're waking up to the world didn't you when you're young you, you, you get I always re remember eating onions and thinking oh they I don't like them they're spicy and I couldn't eat any spice at all so definitely a level up right level four is the orange Yeah, the orange bean. There it is. Now my kids, oh wow. Oh. My kids reckon the orange bean was the spiciest. And I gotta be honest, there's a whack. There's a whack of spice on the back of there. Whoa. They're made by Kids World in Spain. Whoa. Wow. Well, they're made in Pakistan. Let's have a look at the ingredients on these I'd love to know ah there's no oh here we are um, red chilli powder is in some of it um, and I can't I can't really read much else it's difficult to read but yeah definitely on that the kids reckon the orange one was the spiciest that is like burning my throat. Can't imagine. Can't imagine what it's like for a kid. <laughs> they enjoyed it though. They did it willingly. I didn't force them. I didn't get the whip out. <laughs> right. Pink. Coloured one. And interestingly, with all of these sweets, the kids said that they only had one. This. There's a few greens, a few light greens, a few orange, a few reds, but only one of the lighter, in the packs that they had, only one of the lighter beans. This is level five, the lighter red bean. Oh, sweet raspberry. Wow. I had one of these yesterday and I was like, kids, what do you want about? You're not even hot. When you, it's a bit like that chilli sensation when you, when you first have a mouthful of one of them kind of, the Morrison's flaming fowl, you taste it and you go, no, oh, that's not too bad. And it builds, it keeps on building with the chilli level. This is doing exactly that. It's kind of taking me through the levels of spice. And that one, I can really feel my throat hot now. Not to the point where I'm sweating, I'm struggling, but a real warming sensation on the back of the, the back of the throat. Right. To finish, we have the deep. This is level six. This is the deep orange. But I'm not going to do one. There's four of these. I'm going to do the four. Here we go. Strawberry. Definitely a strawberry flavour. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! It's hit my nose! It's, it's gone up the back of my nose! Blimey! Wow, it's making my face itch. I 
Ah, oh, no wonder the kids were struggling. Okay, I said I had one of the pink ones. That was just one pink one. I didn't kind of like move my way through the levels like they did. Okay, I had four of the hottest beans at the end. I tell you what, and they were, they were four bags for a pound. Four bags for a pound in home bargains. They were well, well worth a look. Let's see if we can... Just stick them all in. Because i got to show them how it's done. Oh! Being a beer drinker, I gotta admit, I much prefer bitter stuff than sweet stuff. But whacking these down, it's almost an inferno in my mouth. It's going to the back of my nose with spice, pepper, chili. We got a little bit, a little bit tacky, a little bit sweaty. But what I find really interesting about this is that they've almost been designed for the YouTube generation. There's so many like the world's hottest gummy bears and the devil's toenail sweet lollipop thing which a lot of people fail on and they've, done, they've gone about it a different way they're levelling up you know it's almost like the the YouTube computer game generation this has been made for I think that it, it's quite a novel nice idea quite like it dare yourself Okay, I did the challenge, I survived the challenge, I've eaten all of these sweets. Um, were they worth 29 pence a bag? Well, they were 25 pence a bag because it was four for a pound. Amazing, I love on bargains for their weird and wonderful stuff. Um, get yourself down there, try these. I haven't eaten a bag of sweets since I was probably 14 years old. I'm not eating a bag of sweets. Um, I've always liked beer too much. So that was a challenge for me and myself. Eating a bag of sweets that I haven't done. I'm 40 years of age now, so that's 26 years. I've not, I've not eaten a bag of sweets. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Get yourself down on baggins, try these chili candies. It's a bit of fun. Stone the crows. If you like what you see, Put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. I'm going for a beer now. Boom! Cheers!